Welcome back to Brewmatures. Mary's back with me today. We've got McKellar Brewing's Trey Blood Blueberry Waffle. All right, Mary. Uh, I am very excited for this because we've had McKellar Brewing. We've had it recently. We had their, uh, was it what, Guava Goes mm -hmm. that they had? Mm -hmm. um, this is a stout from them. This is part of their Barrel Age series. Trey Blood is kind of their flagship stout and they have a bunch of different variants of it. So this is their 2021 Blueberry Waffle aged in bourbon barrels. Go ahead and read off what they made it with. Imperial Stout made with blueberries, maple syrup, cinnamon, and coffee. So it sounds like a nice breakfast stout to me. Look at this. Barley malt, wheat malt. Is this a malt beverage? Technically, I think it would be because it is beer. Beer is a malt beverage. Uh, malts are something that's used in all beers, I believe. They use yeast and they use malts. Malts give it the different flavors. What's interesting about it is if you look at it, McKellar, um, this is McKellar San Diego. There is a McKellar in, where did we say they're from? Sweden, Ikea people? Sweden, I think. I don't know, um, Norway? Or Norway. They break it down by percentage, like it's 0.6% blueberry, 0.2% maple syrup, 0.1% uh, cinnamon. Uh, very interesting. This is a 14% beer. Woo! All right. So it's, a, it's a big boy. Good um, night after this. So I am, I'm pretty excited because I think I've had the regular Trey Blood before. Um, but that was a, a while ago and I don't really remember it. And so this is blueberry waffle. So I'm expecting a lot of blueberry flavor here. Um, maple syrup, cinnamon, coffee, all things that go really well with the stout. And I'm really excited. So am I. I love blueberry and I love waffles and coffee. Oof. Yeah, I mean, a coffee stout is kind of, was kind of your gateway into stouts. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this is a really good one for us. Yeah, blood. That's enough talking about it. Let's get to drinking about it. And Mary, guess what? There's no wax on this bottle. <laughs> And take me now I'm used to using your bottle opener. I wanted to go the other <laughs> side now. All right. I think I do like the this versus the other way. Pers I've never personally, seen that way before. Aren't most bottle openers I've had are like that, like this instead of pulling it open like that. There is your beer. Thank you. I can already smell it. Oh, there's blueberries. Wow, yeah, that is blueberries and a stout. It smells, yeah, it smells bourbon barrel aged. Yeah. I'm getting more of the maple syrup on the nose. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't, do you get any blueberry? It is, yeah, there is blueberry in there, but I the maple syrup sticks out to me more, which is really interesting. Huh. I don't get any maple syrup. Ooh, okay. Uh, no cinnamon, no coffee, surprisingly. Coffee is usually a strong flavor. Yeah, all I'm getting I'm getting is a little more blueberry now. All I'm getting is a blueberry stout. Well, let's see if we can taste it. Wow. For me, maple syrup hits first. Briefly. Then it goes into blueberry stout. I don't get that. I don't get any maple syrup. I only get blueberry stout. It's a shame because it's good. <laughs> Maybe at the end now. Yeah, it, it kind of, you get a sip and then there's a lot going on there. There's a lot for you to enjoy in a sip, which is nice. Yeah, sure. It's time for the big chew. Still blueberry. Really? Still bourbon, barrel aged. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But maybe like the aftertaste, like. It's good. In your mouth. In your mouth. Oh, we're all so in uh, your mouth. Uh, I think I'm getting the maple after. After I've already swallowed it, and I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting it after. I don't get it at the very beginning like you do. No cinnamon, mm -hmm. but maybe, I mean, it's more of an influencer at this point probably than a, 
than a, a dominant flavor. No coffee, surprisingly, maybe a tiny bit on the back end. Kind of like a, a little bit of a dark chocolate bitterness to it that might be coming from the coffee, but could also be coming from the stout. That's really enjoyable. Um, this is also a 500 milliliter bottle, so it's a nice amount um, if you're by yourself. Um, with the two of us, it's probably gonna end up being a good amount because this is not our first beer of the evening. Correct. This will give me coffee breath. I don't taste the coffee, but if I drink this and then I go about my day, I think it'll give me a little bit of coffee breath. I think you might find that with most stouts in general. They kind of all lend themselves to that coffee flavor. Um, and they all kind of make me leave feeling that same way. Mm -hmm. uh, when I drink coffee and you have, like you said, coffee breath. It reminds me of that, yeah. Definitely, I would say there's definitely coffee. I mean, they put coffee in there, but I get it a little bit more, like I said, on the back end mm -hmm. um, than yeah, anything else. Absolutely. Um, very sweet. Maple syrup definitely lends to the sweetness of this beer. The bourbon's there, but it's not, you don't really taste the alcohol like you would in a other 14% beer. This is a 14% beer. You gotta it, chew it then. Yeah, if, I mean, with any of these big stouts, if you let them sit in your mouth, you will feel that alcohol on your tongue. It's not just sitting in your mouth, you have to chew it. Oh, okay, here we go. Yes, there you go. Now you're getting it all. No cinnamon yet though, so I don't. No, no cinnamon. But good, man, I mean this is... I like it. It's very impressive. I am more impressed by this than anything else I've had on McKellar. Yeah, I was just thinking that McKellar is the, the people with the cool faces and the people, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's little faces. Yep. The melting people in the guava pool last time. Yeah, I haven't been as impressed with their sours, but mm -hmm. this stout, it's really good. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I've been impressed with anything that they've had until this stout. Maybe, you know, guys, just cut your losses. You do stouts good. <laughs> That's all you need. You do stouts good. You do stouts good. Is that proper English? Well, Mary, it's about that time in the video. What would you rate this beer out of five? I think I'm going to give it a four, five. I'm going to give it a five. Wow. I'm going to give it a five. A five. I'm going to give it a five. I was, I was thinking about giving it a 4.75 because I can't taste the cinnamon, but you know what? I can forgive it because there's so much blueberry in here and I like it. I love blueberry. I'm not sure, well I guess the maple syrup is why they get, they call it a blueberry waffle. Correct, yeah. But. And some waffles do have cinnamon in them. Yeah, but I, I can forgive all of that, you know, it doesn't, okay, for, for me, I was expecting a little more bready taste because of the waffle, but I understand where they're coming from with the maple syrup. Yeah, I think it's more just blueberry waffles with maple syrup yeah, on it, and there's cinnamon, a little cinnamon yeah. in there. But and you're cinnamon. probably having that at breakfast, yeah. so here's like, some coffee. Yeah. Um, that makes yeah. total sense, but I'm not getting any cinnamon. But it's so good with blueberries that I don't even care that they promised me waffle and I'm not getting waffle. <laughs> and some beers like this will do that, where they just, they're so good that even though you're not getting every little thing you're promised, it just, it, it just blows your blows your hair back. Oh yeah, absolutely. My hair is blown. What about you? What's your rating? <sighs> I'm still trying to decide. I feel like I don't get as much blueberry as you do. What? That's I mean, this thing you're saying this thing is jam packed with blueberries. I get blueberry. I'm getting more than maple syrup. And then coffee on the back end. Yeah, I get coffee. I get maple syrup. You know, as the aftertaste, aftertaste, you know, the aftertaste. And because of all that, I'm gonna give it a five. <gasps> Woo! That's a perfect score from us here at Brumatures. Um, McKellar, good job. Yeah. Good job with this beer. Stick with the stouts. <sighs> good thing this is not the only McKellar stout I have on the cellar. Yes. <laughs> Share it with me, not with Rafa. Well, the downside to it is it has coconut in it. That's a 
a, a <laughs> sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, good job, McKellar. Great beer. If you like it, they're located in San Diego. I'm not sure how often they have this around, but if you can pick it up, we recommend it. Absolutely, 100% recommend this beer. That does it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. That's not possible. <laughs> like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, click the bell icon if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. And until next time, we're the Brewmatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time.